Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for uh, Good Morning Devotions. That's what we're going to call this. And I uh, appreciate you guys joining me. If you got your Bibles, turn to Second or First Thessalonians 5.18. I'm going to read one scripture. But I want to talk to you about distractions this morning. Matter of fact, I, I, I've got a devotion devotional I read every morning. It's um, Blackaby. It's really good. Experiencing God is an awesome devotional. And every one of them is a sermon in itself and it's amazing you can read these and and you'll uh a lot of times get thoughts for different devotions or sermons so but this morning the reason i wanted to bring that up i was very distracted this morning tremendously distracted to the point where i was trying to figure out what to tell you guys because i didn't feel like i could come down here and do a devotion today not because i, I had didn't have time but because mentally i was just overwhelmed with something that happened this morning I know it sounds like I got a lot of drama in my life, but I, this is just one of them times when you just had kind of a wild morning. And so I said, well, I'm just going to read my devotion. And when I read my devotion, it was on distractions. It was amazing. And is it not amazing when God speaks directly to you and your circumstance, what you're going through? Somebody say amen right there, if you would, if you know what I'm talking about. It's amazing when you're going through something or something's happening, and immediately God just speaks right to what you're going through. That's what happened this morning. And so even though I was being distracted, the devotion was about once you know what you're supposed to do for God, once you have set your mind and your focus on that, don't be derailed. Don't let anything um, take you away from that. So that's what the enemy does. He wants to distract us. You need to stay focused today. Whatever the Lord has, has given you to do, whatever your task is today, stay focused on that. And go ahead and, and, uh, and make, just go ahead and understand you're going to be distracted. Things are going to happen. There's no doubt about it. You will be distracted or you will be tempted to be distracted. But don't let that, don't let that, um, don't let those distractions keep you from doing what you know you're supposed to do. The Bible tells us to be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion. Walketh about seeking who he may devour. That last part of that scripture is so important. He's seeking those that he may devour. He's not going around devouring everybody he sees. He's seeking out those that he can devour. As long as we're walking in the will of God, as long as we're doing what we, obeying the Holy Spirit, letting the Spirit of God lead us, the devil cannot do anything in your life to distract you or derail you as long as you're focused and you're trusting in God. That doesn't mean that things are not going to come. That doesn't mean that God's not going to allow uh, things to come into your life. But make no mistake about it. When you stay focused on what you know you're supposed to do for the Lord and you're faithful to that, you have a strength, a spiritual inner strength that keeps you. It's the Holy Spirit that keeps you and protects you and guides you. Most of the time, if not all the time, when we are in a situation where we fall to the wayside or we, we mess up or we backslide on God or we do things that we just know is wrong, nine times out of ten, there was, a, there was a time, an intersection in your life where you decided to go a different direction. It wasn't just something that blindsided us. There was a will to go in a different direction. Those distractions sometimes will come in the form of a temptation. Those distractions will come in the form of a hardship. Distractions will come in a form of just overwhelming circumstances in your life, but they're all distractions. The Bible tells us greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. The Bible tells us that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. If you believe the word of God, if you trust God, then you understand that what he says is true. He, he will not lie. He cannot lie. But the enemy will try to distract us and make us doubt the word of God. Distractions will choke choke the word in our lives. It'll choke us out. And I want to read another scripture. The Bible tells us in Mark 4, 18 and 19, And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and cares of this world, and the dece deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. It's talking about sowing seeds. It's the parable where Jesus was talking about seeds are being sowed. The word of God. Distractions come in the form of worldly pleasures. Distractions come in the form of desire and materialism. Stay focused today.
Stay focused and stay peaceful. Stay focused and stay peaceful. The Bible says in Isaiah, I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Keep your mind on Christ. Keep your mind on what he's called you to do. Stay focused. Stay peaceful. Don't be distracted. Let the words of our mouths, the meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in his sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Jesus.